Hey, what's up friends? How's it going? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to do a quickie, a really shorty. I'm going to compare the Gladio SC with the OG Gladio, the original gangster. Um, and we're just going to do a quick spin through of, you know, do they sound alike? Do they sound different? Which one should you buy? That'll be up to you. It's to taste, right? So let's dive right in. I'm going to start with, um, so here's the, the telly that's in C standard. So I'm not in standard tuning, I'm in C standard tuning. And um, let's just listen to I'm on the neck pickup through the two rock. All right, there we go. Now let's go into the OG.
Cool, so you can, you can definitely hear the similarities. I'm gonna turn the gain all the way up on both of them. Let's see which one has, maybe one has more gain than the other, I'm not sure. Let's try it out. OG might have a little bit more gain. Let me bring up the tone a little bit on each of them. Around three o'clock. Uh, maybe a little bit more than three o'clock. I'm gonna go to the uh, neck pickup. I mean, both of them are awesome. I don't think there's, you know, any way you can go wrong. Obviously, this is just this side um, with the tweak, with this clean knob. Um, so let me show you really quick the difference. If I back off the tone a little bit and back off the gain till about, let's put it around like, I don't know, two o'clock. Um, I just wanna show you what the clean knob can do. So the biggest difference you know, as I roll that clean knob in.
Green uh, is a big game changer. I mean, I, in my opinion, I think everybody should own both of these because they're awesome. <laughs> um, because, you know, the, the added utility of having that second channel with like a little bit more drive on a board, it's just like there's more gain stacking in, in one unit. But you could stack that sucker with anything. I've been stacking this with Fuzz, both of these, and it's killer with Fuzz. So, you know, what should you get now that there's two of these? Obviously, budget is a big thing, whereas this guy would come more into your budget, probably. Um, and, you know, honestly, this is one of the best pedals I think I've, I've purchased in 2020. When I got this in August of this past year, 2020, it didn't leave my board, as I said in the last video. It has not left my board until this came in. <laughs> and then I swapped this out for a little one. I've had this on there. But they're really, really amazing pieces of gear and very inspirational to play through. That's the thing. Anytime I'm buying something, I want it to inspire me and, and make me play differently because it just feels different. Uh, and these two do it in spades. So if you're looking between one of these two, Obviously, take your budget into consideration and everything, but you cannot go wrong. You cannot go wrong. Um, this thing, the added clean knob, is a huge difference between the other, you know, left side of the of the original Gladio. It really does make a big difference. You might not be able to tell through YouTube, but like in the room, it's really special. It it does so much for opening everything up and the presence of um, you know the instrument and the amplifier. Just it just feels like everything goes. <sighs> you know, that's the best way I can describe it um, in the room. But, you know, if you can, if they're, if they're in a local store near you, you can go try them out. Try them out. I've had several friends recently change their order from this unit to this unit because they love this one so much from the demos that have been floating around. But you cannot go wrong. I know I've said that four or five times already, but you really can't. Try these suckers out. Cornerstone... As far as game-changing units, these things are like... For for the enthusiast that is trying to get that Robin Ford sound, because these are not dumble, dumbles in a box. Like in my last video, I kind of alluded to the fact that they're dumbles in a box. They're not. They are basically Emilio hearing a sound in his head. He's a, he's a guitar player. He loves Robin Ford's sound. Robin happens to be playing through. Um, a Dumble, but that's not what this is. It's kind of capturing the spirit and essence of, you know, Robin Ford's tone and um, Yeah, it's just man. I love it. I love it so much. Anyway, I'm gonna shut up Thank you so much for tuning in again. Um, I hope you guys are enjoying the channel hoping you're enjoying the the content of this channel Make sure you keep tuning in for the uh, at home with marks. I have a bunch of amazing guests this season so stop on in on those. Say hello to myself, the artist, um, the gear builder, whoever's on the show, and drop that little hello emoji, right? And we'll talk to you soon. I'll see you next week. This week we got two great guests coming up. We got Matt Schofield uh, on Saturday of next week, but this Wednesday, uh, Tim Marcus from Milkman Amps is going to be on the show, and I'm super pumped to talk to him about old Fender amps and his inspiration for all this stuff. All right, guys. Take care of each other. Take care of yourself. And I'll see you next time.